Hey, Shalom, guy. Shalom. Uh, I wanted to know that uh, if Galatians 3 and 28, if it's going into the, the same thing as uh, Ezekiel 37 and 16. 37, 16. Let's read Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 16. The book of Ezekiel chapter 37 and verse 16. Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions. Then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companions. Right, so it is in it's, it's, Galatians chapter 3 verse 20, 28 is broader than just this. This is going into, yeah, the those of, of um, the Gentiles being the northern kingdom that begin to uh, worship other gods in the mountains as we read in John chapter 4, right? Um, but also Galatians 20, let's get Galatians 3 and 28 now. Also Galatians 3 and 28 is going into... Um, you know, those who were of the southern kingdom confessing themselves, calling themselves and living by the Grecian customs. All right. And those that did not understand that they are um, free because what was the circumcision and those that dwelled in um, Jerusalem considered? They never left Jerusalem. They dwelt there. Say that again. What were the, those Jews that were that they never left Jerusalem? Right, because you had some Jews, Southern Kingdom, I mean Jews, right, who lived in Rome, uh, like Paul, for instance, right? He wasn't Northern Kingdom, right, or a Gentile, or let's say he wasn't one, one of these, if I'm referencing Ezekiel 37, he wasn't one of these sticks for, for Joseph, which is Ephraim and Manasseh, right? Yes, sir. Neither was he any of the other Northern Kingdom tribes, which were classified latter or in the New Testament as the Gentiles. Right? right? He was of the southern kingdom. However, he did not remain in Jerusalem. He was a Roman citizen. Right? right? So, that's what I mean when I say Galatians 3 and 28 is a lot broader than just southern and northern kingdom. It, it is encompassing all of Israel, but it's important that you understand the difference. Um, so, this is, this is right. This part of this in Ezekiel 37 and 16 falls into Galatians 3 and 28, but that's what we're going to read is much broader than just, um, you know, quote unquote Southern Kingdom and quote unquote Northern Kingdom. All right, go ahead. Galatians chapter 3, verse 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek. So there is neither Jew nor Greek. Why were they called Jews and Greeks? Because Greeks weren't, go back to where, we, where Captain just went in uh, 1 Maccabees chapter 6, verse 6. So this was, this was Northern Kingdom. I mean, this was Southern Kingdom. I'm sorry. That's what he's talking about. There is neither Jew nor Greek. They're all just Jews. They're all the same people. They're all the three, um, uh, the three tribes of the Southern Kingdom, which is Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Right? Go ahead, read that. The book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 6, verse 6. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days uh -huh. or ancient feasts or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. So who were the men and women of Israel that was still at this time, you're right, under this, when, when Jerusalem was, was conquered by uh, Alexander and later reconquered by his four generals or what have you, who was still keeping the law, confessing themselves to be Jews, keeping the Sabbath days, keeping those ancient feasts? Who was still doing that? Was it Northern Kingdom or Southern Kingdom? It was Southern Kingdom. Northern Kingdom had been went off and they worshiping <coughs> devils in the mountains and witches acting like, you know, witches and sacrificing other guys. All Northern Kingdom, right? Ephraim, uh, uh, Manasseh, Gad, Zebulon, Issachar, all of them, they been went off, right? So this is not talking about them uh, uh, specifically. This is specifically talking about those who were in Jerusalem, Right? Keeping the laws, the feasts, and confessing themselves to be Jews and what have you. Go ahead. Uh, verse 7. And in the day of the king's birth. Uh, I'm sorry. And in the day of the king's birth, every month, they were bought by bitter constraint. So what is this? Birthdays. So it's these were brought by bitter constraint. Bitter constraint. That's how you know. These were the Jews keeping the laws. Northern kingdom had went off already. 
So these were they that still remained around the temple, right? To to keep why would why would certain of us stay in proximity to the to the temple? To be closer to peace days. Exactly, we had to atone for our sins. If you believe in the, the, the one true God, you had to atone for your sins. You had to sacrifice in that time when the law of sacrifice was still here. You had to keep the feast days and you had to report to Jerusalem three times a year. So a lot of us stayed there. We didn't really wander too far off or move or, or journey too far off from there, right? So I'm just proving that this who is talking about is the same people Galatians 3 and 28 is identifying as Jew and Greek. Same people. Same exact people. Same exact tribe. Go back to Galatians 3, 28. Galatians chapter 3, verse 28. Come on. There is neither Jew nor Greek. Come on. There is neither bond nor free. Now it's saying there is neither bond nor free. Who was the bond? The bondmen. Those who were, go to Acts chapter 2. These were the bond. These were who were in bondage. Acts chapter 2 and verse 5. Come on. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem. Jews, devout men, out of every nation. So this was the Feast of Pentecost. So we had to come back. Those who believed still weren't worshiping devils at this point, right? Those that believed came back to Jerusalem for one of those three times a year. And, and, and whoever could journey back for other feasts as well. This feast was Feast of Pentecost, right? There were, Jerusal there were dwelling at Jerusalem devout men. Go ahead. Out of every nation. Out of every nation. Out of every nation. How did they get into every nation? Slavery. 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 They were taken and they grew up in other, other the places that they were taken to. Right? At this point, we have some liberty to come back and journey back to Jerusalem to keep our feast days. Right? So we conquered. So we're no longer under the same constraints as we read about in 2 Maccabees chapter 6, verse 6, where it was unlawful for you to say you were Jew. Right? Just like right now. We can sit up in here and say, you know, we the real Jews at one at some point. This is going to get real testy saying that. Like uh, Captain O.C. was going into, we serve the Lord in fear in some of us in some things to today, right now. Right? How do I, do I, do I tell them fully, like, yo, I'm an Israelite. I don't believe in the, the I'm not, put, you know, I put, instead of putting my, my hand over my heart while y'all see this, make an oath to this white man or whatever. I put my hand, you know what I'm saying? I put my hand behind my head. So I, don't know. I don't know, right? But that's with fear that we do the things that we do. We don't serve the Lord like, yeah, y'all better bow down. It is what it is, right? So, so in the same way, we had the liberty at that point that we're reading about here in Acts chapter 2 to go and serve our Lord still with some fear, but we, yo, we just fear the Lord more, you know? Uh, but go ahead. Verse 5. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Come on. Now, when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded, because that every man heard them speak in his own language. I just wanted to get that point, to, because you don't speak a language. Say you, you, move to, you move to Spain today, you know, as a grown. No, you, no, you don't necessarily speak that language so much to so you don't know the language of the place you came from. That scripture emphatically proves that these people grew up in these places that they came from. They grew up there, and this is talking about the same constraint or uh, um, uh, situation extending from what we read about in the old history when Jerusalem was first conquered by the Grecians, all right, and, and scattered everywhere. We were sold into slavery, all right? Uh, go back to Galatians 3 and 28. The book of Galatians chapter 3 verse 28. Go ahead. There is neither Jew nor Greek. Huh. There is neither bond nor free. So the bond, the bond would be those that didn't grow up in Jerusalem. Those that were not Pharisees, right? Meaning they had license to keep the law as they wanted to. There was nobody like Herod. Like when Christ was, when, when they wanted to put Christ to death, they brought him to, the, to, to Herod. What did Herod tell them? I mean, what did um, uh, um, Pilate tell them? I know with them. Oh, he was like, deal with him according to y'all law. What the hell? Y'all do what y'all want to do with him. What are you bringing him to me for? I, that's not my business. Right? That's what he, you, yes, you... Matthew chapter 27, verse 24. Watch this. When Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude. So he like, look, I ain't got nothing to do with this. 
because they brought him to they brought they accused um, uh, Christ to Pilate. Who was the king? No, Pilate, no, Pilate was the king. Herod was a king of another province at this time. So they brought him, they brought Christ to Pilate to accuse him of what? He says that he's the king. So that would be treason. You kill him because it's what it's against our law to kill him. So they want to put the blood on somebody else, right? Go ahead. <clears throat> but that brother and Samot was made. He took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. They say, y'all ain't going to put this blood on me. No, I, I, I didn't examine them. I didn't talk to them. I didn't. No, I ain't doing that. I'm not killing them. By what? He didn't do anything. Well, what am I killing him for? He got some law that he done broke with y'all. That's on y'all. Watch this. Go ahead. <clears throat> I am innocent of the blood of this just person. He said this just person. He ain't broke my laws. He have done nothing worthy of me killing him. Go ahead. See ye to it. See ye to it. Y'all deal with that. That's y'all. Y'all kill him if y'all want him dead. Proving, and I'm, well, all I'm proving, is that the difference between the bond and free. Those that were considered the free were those that had this type of power. The Pharisees, the scribes, the Sadducees, the, the, um, the, um, it's one more, who am I forgetting? The, the, uh, the, the, no, they collected the money. The publicans. They were free of our people, so-called free of our people. That's why he told, yo, y'all kill people. They could kill, they, you, just the, the, uh, they could write license for Paul to go and kill the Christians. So they were considered the free. They weren't under bondage to nobody, right? All right, go back to Galatians chapter 3, verse 28. Any, every, anybody confused? I'm trying to go point to point so nobody's confused when you hear a Christian bring this up. What about Galatians 3, 28? That we, we all know that's where they're going to, so this is what it means. This is what all of it is talking about, okay? Galatians chapter 3, verse 28. Come on. There is neither Jew nor Greek. Come on. There is neither bond nor free. Uh -huh. There is neither male nor female. There is neither male nor female. What's this going into? Let's get Mary. Let's get Mary accused by the by the by the Pharisees. What is that? Neither male nor female. That's going into respect of persons in judgment. That's what that's going into. Start at verse three. Yes, sir. John, John chapter 8 verse 3 And the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman Taken in adultery So who, 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 are, who had the charge of the people Who is Paul addressing The confusion and perversion Of our law uh, Against the Pharisees The scribes, the Sadducees, those that were free This is why he had to go and say Neither female nor female Right? Watch this This is an example of the type of Niggatry that was going on with the Pharisees In this day Go ahead. And when they had set her in the midst, the on, when they set her in the midst, the woman, right? Go ahead. They say, they say unto him, uh -huh. Master, this woman was taken in adultery uh -huh. in the very act. Uh -huh. Now Moses in the law commanded us. It says the woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Now who did they sit in the midst of, of the, 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 when you read back up at verse uh, uh, one, it's this the Sermon on the Mount, Abolish. Everybody heard that, right? That's what's happening here, right? Christ had just ended that sermon, right? But there were still people there. The, the, the Negroes called Pharisees took a woman in adultery in the very act and put that woman in the midst of these people. She was, we call her doing, a, we call her in the midst of adultery. What say ye? Go ahead. Now Moses and the law commanded us Come on. that such should be stoned. Uh -huh. But what says now, that? Now Moses said, the law say, we got to stone her. We got to kill her. But what say you? Go ahead. This they said, tempting him. Tempting him. Now I want to ask y'all, right? I want to ask y'all, what's missing from this scenario? Who's that brother behind Uriel? Uh, yeah, no, I want to hear you. <laughs> Let me hear Nehemiah. Let me hear Nehemiah. Shalom, Rudy Shalom. Shalom. They missed the witnesses. No, they were the witnesses. Let me hear Kevin. Shalom, leadership. Shalom. Um, they were missing the people who did adultery with her. Right. They was missing the man, the male. 
They were missing the mail. You accusing her of adultery, caught in the very act. Christ, Christ peeped and he like, oh, these some niggas, man. We ain't even no do here. How we going to judge this? Y'all trying to make me an unjust judge and make me a respective person. Make me guilty of the same blood that you guilty of. That's what you that's what y'all say. If, if, the, if she was caught in the act, why y'all ain't got the Negro too? Why y'all ain't got the brother too? What's going on here, right? But go ahead. This is what's missing from this whole equation. And, and again, a strong, a, a good example of the type of foolishness going on in judgment back in this day as to why Paul has to address the newly repented Galatians, right? Or Israelites in Galatia, there is neither male nor female. Cut all that nonsense out. Everybody got to keep the law. Anybody break it, anybody can get judged. That's what's going on, right? But go ahead. This they said tempting him uh -huh. that they may have to accuse him. Uh -huh. But Jesus stooped down and with his finger wrote on the ground. He peeped. He like, man, here we go. <laughs> go ahead. <clears throat> As though he heard them not. Uh -huh. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself uh -huh. and said unto them, he that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone in her. Now, did Christ have to tap into his powers to see that they, they were all in the midst of sin? No, he's ain't y'all ain't bring the dude. Y'all didn't bring him. Y'all unrighteous judges right now. And being did they understand or not understand? Were they confused as to what Christ understood plainly? They weren't confused. They masters of the law. So they like, dang, he got us. The devil took over and we out and did some stupidness. I, we didn't we didn't came five miles with this woman, left the dude, just forgot the whole oh man, we look like idiots. And that's why they all walked away. We gotta hurry up, so that was the end of the story. They all walked away. They're like, damn, we can't we can't accuse her or Christ. Ah, we gotta leave, right? Um, so you good? <laughs> all right, all right. Um We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth